Inner Ghost, written and directed by Paolo Lee. Um, I absolutely enjoyed this film. If you're a fan of the Insidious films, then this will be right up your alley because this film definitely uh, remind you of that. But it's its own take, not got nothing to do with the movies for the simple minded ones that be like, oh, he said it's like it's Insidious. I didn't say that. I said it remind you of Insidious. But to make a long story short, uh, the film is about this very powerful medium named Helen that's dealt with a tragic loss and also about to lose her best friend and also mentor. And... You know, she she tried to get away from the medium life and just trying to, you know, make a profit for herself and do other things. But then she's dragged back into the situation. And not only that, she has two apprentices um, that she's teaching how to deal with, you know, spirits and entities and things like that, which is an entity is the last thing you want to be dealing with. And that's what these uh, ladies end up dealing with. The lead ladies in this film is absolutely amazing. I love all of them except for the one that just kept screaming. I know she was exhausted as hell doing that role because, I mean, that that one you could tell was the scared one out of the three um but i like the way it's done and i like the truth that they tell in this type of film which is really risky when you're when you're um when you tell the truth in films like this but i, I noticed that they never in films like this and when i look back in the insidious films that i never i always noticed like the the medium that's that's powerful that defeat the spirits off i never i noticed that they never have God in these films or they never say prayers or, or read from the book, um, from the Bible and things like that. And I'm not saying that you always have to do that to ward off evil spirits. I just noticed that they don't use what you really need in real life in order to deal with these entities and, and, and ridiculous spirits. And let me tell you that you really need him you need god because i'm telling you even even in my personal life experiences i could not have done it if it wasn't for our mighty father and let me let you know like i literally pass on my own doing and i know where where i was saved at because i knew from the get-go where i was on my way to but i was fucked but to make a long story short that this film is really good but i just wish that they actually use some real sense that's why i liked about the nun when i saw the nun and the thing that made the nun special is that the nun was more so classic and very special to me when I think about the elements that the film had in it. Like, yeah, they didn't go in there defeating um, that demon. I'm not going to say his name, even though I know it. But um, they went in defeating the demon, but they didn't do it by themselves. And the one young lady definitely did that due to the spirit of Christ and, and, and won and victorious, even though the thing came back and started messing with her other relatives down the road. But with this film, I absolutely enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Um, the guy in the film make you want to put your foot knee deep in his ass. I swear, like this one man in this film is going to piss you off. That's how you know that acting is well done in this movie. It's really good. I highly recommend it. A minute and let's get this film a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah! And there are some very outstanding performances in this film by uh, Celia Williams. She plays Helen, absolutely show stealer. She stole the show in this film. Really good actress. Um, also, Elizabeth Botchman, she was amazing in this film. Um, Iris Kayet, she was amazing. Um, Norman McCullen. My goodness, that was the guy that would definitely get under your skin, but he absolutely killed it in this movie. He was something in this film. And like I said, the film also have um it went it went gory in a very, very disturbing way. They done it in this film. Really good film, guys. Um also Amanda Booth, she was amazing as well. Film is really good. If you have not seen Inner Ghost, I highly recommend this film. It is available right now on Amazon. Also, uh, Voodoo, YouTube. Check this movie out, Inner Ghost. It's a really good film. If you're somebody that's into Insidious, then definitely check that out too. As my throat is dry as hell. And I'm about to get the heck out of here. So I can continue on watching some other things and doing some other things. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Any Ghost because I told you what I thought about it. If you're somebody that like Insidious, then you will definitely like this film. The only gripe I had with the film is that it, it, it would make me feel a lot better if you just put Christ in this film because you can't have one without the other. It's like peanut butter without the jelly. It, it just don't mix. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. I love you.